I grew up with uh, with Tamia, and I tell you, you know, it just brings back the old days, doesn't it? Uh, Tamia just kind of nails it uh, in every aspect for me. Just um, yeah, hits every mark. Yeah, and I like that you're doing builds on your your channel because uh, you know when I spoke to Vass last week from All C R C Playground, that was our conversation uh, throughout yeah. the the interview was that there's not a lot of people building anymore and that's a quality that is getting lost in my opinion absolutely um, yeah. yeah i think for me um it's the key part of it for me it's, it's what drew me into it from you know from the beginning i've always been uh happy working with my hands um you know as a young child i'll be uh, doing Meccano, Lego kits and that kind of thing. Right. There were no RCs around when I was growing up in the 60s and 70s. So, you know, no internet, uh, no RC. Um, I did a lot of static modeling, um, lots of painting and detailing. So that always took my interest. So when I first noticed uh, Tamiya, um, and the fact you could actually build your own car and then go out and drive it, yes. thought, wow, you've got everything in one, haven't you there? So you've got the modeling side of it, the building, the creativity side of it and then on top of that you can go and play with it <laughs> go up the park and, and uh, you know thrash it about so that's what that, what really got me into Tamiya yeah in the first place yeah and it's a connection like you now you have an emotional connection yeah with these cars, people, you know yeah that's spot yeah. on that is uh, Chris yeah I think that's the thing is when I found when I, when I build one of my cars when you, you own it then don't you it's, mm -hmm. it's yours you make it yours you know what I mean yeah that, the sense of pride you get when you you've got your your brand new car you take it out and you drive it for the first time it's mm -hmm. kind of addictive isn't it don't you think totally no i totally agree and i i would feel then when he say if it came time to sell the car i Whoa. would feel emotionally attached hey? <laughs> Absolute, no <laughs> <laughs> right i mean it's similar to when i work on my v-dubs uh you know we, we we resurrect a car that's 60 years old sure from ground up and yeah. it's sometimes very tough to say goodbye but imagine, yeah, yep, it's a tough, it's a tough deal there, you know? Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, that's, it's a great quality that you have there. And I'm, and it's nice that you show the little intricate details on how to tune things, how to get things going. I mean, your chassis builds, I really like, it seems like you're working with similar chassis and you're putting different like rally bodies on them. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know that to me a world, you know, so <laughs> I'm still used to the old, like, you know, frog chassis or Blackfoot chassis and, you oh, know, yeah. But uh, really, really cool. I really like. Now, the question I got is, does when you buy these kits, are they still not packing these cars with ball bearings, metal ball bearings? <laughs> Don't even go there, Chris. It's, I'm uh, like, what? Yeah. Come on. I know. Right? Really is killer because, uh, you know, you've got like real cheap brands now coming out of China. Like you say, yeah. for 100 bucks, you can get a really good RC car that's fully packed. It's loaded with metal parts. It's, uh, you know, you, you got your um, 2.4 gig controller comes with it. The battery comes with it. It's got all bearings. It's got metal drive shafts. Tell me, they're selling, uh, what really annoys me is they're selling a, a, like um, a good, great car. You know, everything else about the car is great. Right. For about, I mean, I, I think does uh, dollars and pounds kind of equate now. So 100 quid, 100 pounds, about $100, okay. something like that. So for about... Hundred pounds UK, you get a decent spec car, but it comes with bushings, plastic bushings instead of bearings, and what I call pogo stick shocks, which right. is just I saw a piece that. of yep. plastic with a spring around it. I mean, what's that all about, Chris? Yeah, yeah. It, it needs to catch up, really. They, yeah. I, I, it, maybe it's is it an ego thing? You think? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it's more of a money making thing, Chris. Yeah, you know. I guess. I guess. They yeah. Want to the aftermarket part. So maybe. Um, but on the more upmarket um, kits that they do, you do yeah. get the bearings. You do get uh, CVA all shocks. Um, so I don't really know. I think the entry level ones. I think they need to up the game a little bit, really. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, even like in the Kyosho world, I, 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 had, I had some Kyosho cars in the past. Yeah. And um, same deal. Uh, even back then, it was plastic bushings. Um, and then today, I looked at some of Kyosho cars on the market, and they, they're expensive, too. No, they're, no, they're, they're, they're right in there with, uh, with Tamiya, you know. So it's just, yeah, it's per, kind of perplexing, you know. And even like the re-release for the Monster Beetle and the Blackfoot. Yeah. Why not put that better diff in there? 
Exactly. You know, the MIP diff is excellent. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I put that in uh, my Master Beetle, and uh, gosh, it's it's a world of difference. I need to try that. I think it's quite an expensive upgrade, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like $60 or so, 65 yeah. bucks for the kit. A fair amount of money, really, but uh, yep. from what I've heard, it's well worth getting. I think so, because remember, what was the alternative kit when I was growing up was the Thorpe Ball Differential. Never heard of that one. <laughs> yeah, we used to see, I used to get the Tower Hobbies uh, issue every month, and we used to, that was like gold to us. Wow. And um, that was expensive back then, and even then, even now, like, they say it was it wasn't a better upgrade it, it didn't do much better at all yeah. so it looked cool but uh it didn't do much better at all. but the, yeah the mip was uh i was a good little addition yeah. uh, to that so